Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on increasing or decreasing an amount by a percentage without a calculator. So we've got this first problem here, a t-shirt costing £15 is reduced in a sale by 40%. What is the sale price? Now if I'm not using a calculator, I tend to first find what is 40% of £15 because if it's reduced by 40%, 40% of £15 will be what the reduction is. So this will be what the reduction is in the price. Now we saw in a previous video how to find a percentage of amount. There was two methods I showed you. You could either find what 10% was and then scale appropriately, or you can convert this into a fraction. So I'm going to convert this into a fraction. 40% as a fraction is equal to two-fifths. And I recommend that you watch my video on converting percentages to fractions if that's not familiar to you. We've got of and then 15. So we've got to find two fifths of 15. Now, to find two fifths of 15, you do 15 divided by this bottom number here. 15 divided by five is three. And then we multiply it by the top number. So 15 divided by five is three. Multiplied by two is six. So we get six pounds. So it's been reduced by 40%, so it's been reduced by six pounds. So if you have a t-shirt that was 15 pounds, but it was reduced by six pounds, you just subtract the values, and that gives you a new sale price of nine pounds. What about this second one? I buy a painting for 300 pounds and sell it at 35% profit. What do I sell it for? Well, again, let's find out what 35% of the amount is first, so we want 35% of 300 pounds. Now I'm going to use the other method this time rather than converting this to a fraction. So what I often do is I find, well, what 10% is of 300? Well, 10% of 300, remember 10% as a fraction is a tenth. Now a tenth of 300 is 30 pounds. And then from that, we can try and make up 35%. So we need a kind of 5%, don't we, to make this up. So if 10% was 30 pounds, then look, if five is twice as small as 10, so we're dividing by two, then we also need to divide this by two and we get 15 pounds because 30 divided by two is 15. Now we need to make up a full 35%. Now we know what 10% is, we need to know what 30% is. So let's find 30%. Well, if we know that 10% is 30 pounds, to get 30%, can you see that 30% is three times bigger than 10%? So we times by three to get to here. So we need to times this by three. 30 times three is equal to 90. And we need to know what 35% is. Well, we know 5% and we know 30%. If we add those together, we would get 35%. So we just need to add those two values 15 plus 90 and that gives us 105 pounds. So you buy a painting for 300 pounds and then sell it at 105 pounds profit. 35% profit is 105 pounds profit. What do I sell it for? Well, if it was originally 300 and you sold it at 105 pound profit, that means you're selling it for 105 pounds more. So we add those together, that then gives you 405 pounds.